This week we've seen mortgage market madness. What the hell is going on? Let's get into it. Hi guys, it's Sam here, the Property Investors Broker, aka the owner and director of Grand Union Finance. And sorry, I am on shaky hand cam today because we have to quickly talk about what the hell has been going on this week in the mortgage market. We had news at the beginning of the week that mortgage rates may be on the up because there was a bit of instability in the swap rates of anticipation of another increase in the Bank of England base rate both this month and possibly the following month as well. So the rates getting ahead of themselves and what it has seen as a, is a lot of disruption as lenders are not really sure what to do. Now we last saw this back during the mini budget where Truss and Kamikaze Kwasi came up with possibly the worst budget in history, which put absolute mayhem, which took away all the comfort anyone had in our economy, both nationally and internationally. And we saw all sorts of things going on, including a huge run on the pound, and of course, mortgage lenders pulling their rates. Now we've seen a similar thing this week, and I don't wanna get everyone scared because it's not a similar situation. We have just seen that lots of lenders are pulling their rates because they're waiting to see what's happening with swap rates. So what I wanna do is get into why this is important and how you can plan for the next couple of weeks if you're planning on taking out a new mortgage application. So let's quickly talk about swap rates. Swap rates are the rates that lenders use to lend to each other. So you've got some big institutional lenders in the UK, namely the JP Morgans, the Citibanks, the RBSs of this world, and they lend from the top down and that money sort of trickles down towards the bottom from bigger lenders down to smaller lenders. So everyone lends to each other and they use these swap rates or Sonia rates to determine how much they are gonna charge each other. These are generally done at two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10 year rates. So it's how long you're gonna borrow that money for will determine what rate you are going to borrow on. And it's the volatility of these rates that's causing lenders a few headaches at the moment. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that when lenders issue fixed rates, for them, they're not actually fixed until the moment you actually complete on the mortgage. Now at the moment, potentially it's taking up to three months to actually get a mortgage from application all the way through to completion. So that's a three month period where lenders are not quite sure how much it's gonna cost them to borrow the money that it will take to lend out to you. So they have to add a bit of a margin on top, take a little bit of a risk, and at the moment, they just can't predict enough to have these rates available on the, the fixed rates that we've been seeing, the two and the five year fixed rates, which is why we've seen the likes of Kent Reliance, Precise, Fleet, Paragon, a lot of these specialist lenders pull every rate that they've got out of the product guide, awaiting a little bit of security in what these rates are gonna be doing so that they can start planning again for the future. So what I'm saying on this video is, do not panic. Don't listen to what inevitably is going to be in the papers where we're talking about mortgage rates, you know, being pulled from the market, lack of liquidity, all that kind of stuff. Guys, there's loads of money. There is loads of money in the market. Lenders just have to be comfortable as to how they're going to actually lend it out. And so we should see over the next couple of weeks, all these lenders coming back into the market and probably at slightly higher rates than we're seeing right now, because they're gonna to have to take into account the increase in the swap rates, increase in the Bank of England base rate, and predictions for further increases to the Bank of England base rate coming. So this is a very quick video, as I said, on the old shaky hand cam to just keep you updated as to what's going on. Don't panic, guys. If you are looking to refinance out of your bridge or you need to, or you're coming off a fixed rate or you're looking at a purchase at the moment, what to do is get in touch with your broker or one of the team here at Grand Union Finance and we will be able to sort you out with the best rates that are available at the moment for you. So don't panic, enjoy your bank holiday weekend and I'll catch you on the other side.